to give summer one last twirl. Here's Michelle Miller. Dancing under the stars can be enchanting, romantic, and on nights like this, timeless. We love dancing, so it makes you happy. Every year in parks across the country, bands strike up tunes from a bygone era. And dancers of all ages start to swing. It's the greatest social dance in the world because everybody around the world can swing. Give me the beat. Norma Miller is a member of the original swing generation. At age 94, she still travels the world, living up to her title as Queen of Swing. <laughs> this year, Miller was a distinguished guest at New York's annual dance festival called Midsummer Night Swing. What better place, New York? And Lincoln Center, you give us the prestige, we give you the dance. It's a dance that enthusiast Heidi Rosenau and her husband Joe have mastered, complete with vintage outfits. It's as fun as it looks. You see us smiling when we do it. It's really that fun. It's yes. infectious. Yeah. It really I mean, is. Can you stand to this music or do you have to move? I have to move. Whether it's the infectious music or the joy of movement, from Lincoln Center to San Francisco, Grand Rapids and Chicago, across the country, it's catching on with a new generation. The styles, says Norma Miller, are as varied as the locations. You've got West Coast swing. Then you've got the Carolina Shag. Then you got, you got the Balboa shag, which they do in California. Whatever the style, as the song goes. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Growing up in Harlem during the 1920s and 30s, Norma Miller was there at the beginning. Everybody came to where we were. So it was not unusual for me to see Duke Ellington. I saw Ella Fitzgerald, but she started. Jazz changed the whole concept of what people thought of America. And then here came a dance. A dance tailored to the high-octane sounds of Count Basie, Glenn Miller, and Chick Webb. You could go out and for 50 or 75 cents, you buy a ticket to come into the Savoy, and the ladies got in free. Norma Miller began performing professionally as a teenager. Her specialty, the Lindy Hop. Yes, that's her. Named after Charles Lindbergh's famous 1927 flight, where he hopped across the Atlantic, the dance features high energy and aerials. It was created by swing royalty, Frankie Manning. So many of the steps he introduced caught on and they're still done today. Cynthia Millman is a swing expert and co-author of Frankie Manning's autobiography. These were the greatest dancers of this type of dance in the world. And they, in fact, they traveled the world showing it and they were in films. Films like the Marx Brothers' A Day at the Races, in which 17-year-old Norma Miller lit up the screen. And Hell's a Poppin', where she wore a white chef's hat and danced her heart out front and center. Some say that was the best routine of swing dance I of all time. Think, I think everybody would probably agree with that. I call Frankie's masterpiece. I said, so is that like the best you ever did that routine? And he said, we were so tired. We'd been filming for three days. He said, we did it so much better so many other times, but you know, it, gives you an idea of how amazing they were because that is just spectacular. And hard to resist. Double one, one two, two, three. Five. Norma teamed up with Frankie Manning's son, Chaz Young, to teach me a few moves. Take the one, two, three, in, and one, keep the count going. Two, three, three pop up. Now you know why I don't teach. <laughs> one, one. Including that legendary aerial. 
And it all paid off. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. More dancing. Proof, a dance nearly a century old still has the power to make you swing. You see people come off the dance floor, they're smiling or they're laughing. It's not too many things that do that like swing does. And I'm so proud of that. Bring the pretzels and I'll bring the beer. Oh, say!